Lamu as a county did very badly. Uh, we never had any applications in, uh, in, in Lamu County. And obviously, which was a very big concern, we had very few applications from Taita Taveta County, uh, about three applications from Taita Taveta County. At the same time, uh, very few applications in Malindi and also in Kualem. And uh, obviously, the biggest challenge has been on documentation and pe people also applying for the wrong purpose. Instead of refurbishment, they were asking us to buy off or sell off the loans and the rest. So uh, this is now a very good opportunity. Like today, it has been a very successful event where we've also had investors from Lamu being able to come here and be able to apply that. So we'll have a team again which will assist the whole uh, people in all those four or five counties to be able to run this process between now and end of, uh, of January so that we eventually have uh, applications which are suitable to be able to consume about 1.5 billion which is remaining for the coast region. The loan we are going to give them is a maximum of 50 million for uh, a single establishment and if it's a chain hotel uh, the maximum they get is uh, 200 million. Uh, the terms of the loan is a, is a 5% at reducing balance but we are giving them one full year free of charge, meaning after once you receive your money, you have one year to be able to do the work you need to do, at the same time, do your recovery process. So you start effectively making payments to us after one year of doing business. Tumelewana na wakezaji wakilifi kwa katika hizi wikimbili zinazokuja. Uh, kutakuwa na maafisa kutoka kwa Tourism Finance Corporation wakisaidiana pia na maafisa wa county ili kuweza kuwasaidia uh, wawekezaji wetu. Uh, masuala mengi ambayo inaibuka kutoka kwa wawekezaji kilifi ni mambo mfano ya collateral za property zao kuna mambo za pia incomplete registration ambazo zinatokana na kukosa uh, license tofauti tofauti zikiwa po zingine za county government kama county government pia tuko tayari kuwasaidia wawekezaji wetu ili waweze kupata hizi license ndio waweze ku access hizi pesa ambazo ziko katika tourism finance corporation uh, hii fund ambayo iko available sasa hizi ni fund ya kuweza kurekebisha majengo yao na kujitayarisha kwa utalii kwa msimu na ukuja kuna zile funds ambazo zilikuwa zimeahidiwa kupatiwa wawekezaji ambazo ni funds za kulipa mishahara na kuangalia zile mahitaji madogo madogo. Uh, Tumeahidiwa kuwa National Treasury itaweza kuangalia ile bilioni moja ambayo imebaki so that kwa siku zinazokuja wawekezaji waweze kupata pesa hizo pia. Most of the establishments you will find them they are running. They have been uh, doing business but they are not fully compliant. And that's why you can see TFC have come down to talk to the stakeholders about the stimulus fund. But most of them have not complied. Because you will find that um, they don't even pay, some of them don't even pay their taxes. And the requirements that were there are uh, tax compliance for KRA, tax compliance for tourism fund, and those are things that are uh, actually needed. When you checked in the forum, the only things that were required that were uh, business plan and uh, the BQs, those were the only foreign things that um, they were supposed to have. The rest of the things are just copies, which means TFC thought that uh, if you are running a business, all the documents, all the permits, all the licenses you are supposed to be having. But uh, I can tell you that um, if you look at, especially Kilifi County, there is a lot of mushroom properties and businesses. They are not compliant. That's why they keep on complaining. Even if you were to go to the records of NHIF and NSF, you will find that uh, th very few staff are recorded. Very few staff are paying. So which means we have been making noise that there is um, staff turnovers, there have been low peaks, that uh, so many people are out of jobs. But if you look at the real statistics, you will find that there is nothing. So what I can tell our stakeholders, that we should try to be compliant all the time.